if x plus k squared equals x plus m squared plus 4x plus 8 for all of x, find the value of k and the value of m. So we need to find the value of k and the value of m. Well, the first thing we're going to do is multiply out the brackets. So x plus k squared becomes x plus k times x plus k, which is going to give us x squared plus 2k x plus k squared. And then we need to multiply out x plus m squared. x plus m squared is going to be x plus m times x plus m, which is going to give us x squared plus 2mx plus m squared. We then bring down the 4x and the plus 8. Next, we're going to group together the like terms. So on the left-hand side, we just still have x squared plus 2kx plus k squared. And then on the right-hand side, the 2mx and the 4x are going to be grouped together because they both have an x term. So on the right-hand side, we bring down the x squared. Then we have plus 2mx plus 4x grouped together. Bring down the m squared and bring down the 8. So again, we're just going to bring down the x squared, the plus 2kx and the plus k squared. Going to bring down the x squared as well. And then we're going to factorise these two terms and we're going to take out the x, which is common. That's the highest common factor. And x into 2mx will leave us with 2m. And x into 4x leaves us with 4. So we get x times 2m plus 4. And then we're going to group together the m squared plus 8. We're going to put brackets around those to show that they go together because... There's no x term or x squared term stuck onto either of these. Okay, so next we're going to cancel out the x squareds on either side. So this x squared and this x squared will cancel out. And then we're going to put like to like. So on the left hand side of the equals we have 2kx. And on the right hand side of the equals we have x times 2m plus 4. So we're going to put like to like 2 kx is going to be equal to x times 2m plus 4. So we forget about the x's and we just bring down what's stuck onto the x's which is 2k and 2m plus 4. So we have 2k equals 2m plus 4 and then we're going to divide across by 2 to get the k in its own. So 2k divided by 2 is k, 2m divided by 2 is m and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we get k equals m plus 2. So then again, we're going to put like to like with the constants. And by constants, I mean any term that does not have an x or an x squared stuck onto it. So on the left-hand side of the equals, we have k squared. And on the right-hand side of the equals, we have m squared plus 8. So we get k squared equals m squared plus 8. Now remember, we got k to be equal to m plus 2. So we swap that k for m plus 2 with brackets around it. So it becomes m plus 2 squared which is going to be m plus 2 multiplied by m plus 2, which is going to give us m squared plus 4m plus 4. We bring down the m squared and the plus 8. The m squareds will cancel out on either side, and we're left with 4m plus 4 is equal to 8. We're going to bring the 4 over the equal sign, so we get 4m equals 8 minus 4. So we get 4m equals 4, so we get m equals 4 divided by 4. So m is equal to 1. So remember we had k equals m plus 2, and we've just found m to be equal to 1. So we have k equals m plus 2, so we have k equals 1 plus 2, so k is equal to 3. So we were asked to find the values of k and m. k is equal to 3, m is equal to 1.